I'm Christine Anderson and I play the viola in the Halley. Welcome to this week's instalment of Geek of the Week. I thought today I'd talk a little bit about harmonics and stringed instruments. What are they and how do they actually work? So to begin with I'm going to explain what probably most of you already know which is how we usually create notes on our instruments. To play normal notes we simply press down the string firmly with our left hand fingers. <laughs> But to play harmonics, instead of pressing down the string, there are certain points all the way up and down the string that we just have to touch very lightly with a finger. And as you can hear, that creates a high-pitched kind of ethereal sound, almost like a whistle. Um, one of the most famous instances in the orchestral repertoire of the whole string section playing harmonics is the opening of Mahler's first symphony. Uh, where the whole section holds long harmonic notes. So we know what harmonics sound like and we know how to play them on our instruments. But how do they actually work? Why are there these points on our strings that sing when we touch them lightly and why is it only specific points? Firstly, let's talk a little bit about how we actually produce sound from our instruments. These are my open strings and as you can see each open string has two fixed points. There's one here at the bridge and there's another here at what we call the nut. The string is not able to vibrate at either of these fixed points, but it's free to vibrate in between them. So what we essentially have is a sound wave trap. When we make the string vibrate, either by pulling the bow across or by plucking, we are basically making the sound waves bounce between both fixed points, back and forth. These trapped waves are called standing waves. Now, when a string vibrates, it's not just one motion that's happening. Say this is the length of a string. There is a standing wave that takes up the whole length of the string. So it travels like this, and then it bounces back like this, back and forth. This is the standing wave that gives us our fundamental note. That's the one you hear when I play an open string. But there's also a whole set of smaller waves that fit in, into the string's length exactly too. There's one that's half the length of that biggest standing wave and it travels like this and then bounces back like this, back and forth. And there's also one that's a third of the length, Ooh, terrible drawing, and bounces back like this and then a quarter of the length. <laughs> very, very approximate. Um, and so on and so on. This set of standing waves is called the harmonic series, which may well be a term that you know of, and it's the ratios from these standing waves that allow us to play harmonics. As I said, when I play an open string, you hear the fundamental note, which is the longest standing wave, but there are also all of these other ones happening at the same time and creating natural overtones, and it's these natural overtones that give the instrument its timbre. As you can see from this highly professional standing wave doodle, each standing wave, as it travels, has points where it naturally doesn't vibrate. These points are called nodes. Let's take, for example, the longest wavelength. The nodes are the fixed points that I showed you at the start on my viola, where there is no vibration possible. And if we come to this one, which is half the length, then it naturally has a node exactly halfway along the string, where there is no vibration. This point here. So what happens if we touch the string at this point? Well. By touching the string even lightly, we're stopping it from vibrating properly. So all of the wavelengths that do vibrate at that point are damped and we eliminate them. But that wavelength that I just showed you has a node at that point. It doesn't vibrate at that point anyway, so it can still function as normal. So when I touch the string halfway up, I can still create a sound because there are wavelengths that still work there. So by playing harmonics, we're basically isolating certain wavelengths and taking away all the other ones that need to vibrate where we touch the string. So that was what happens when I touch the string exactly halfway along at the node at that point. But as I showed you, there are also many smaller standing waves happening. So the next one that I drew has a node a third of the way along the string, which is here. And the next one that I drew has a node a quarter of the way along the string, which is here. Fundamental, then half, then a third, then a quarter, 
And as you can hear, as the string is divided up into the smaller wavelengths, the harmonics get higher and higher. So basically to play harmonics we are using maths and physics without even really knowing it, which I think is pretty cool. Thank you for listening, I hope you find it interesting and please get in touch with the hashtag Geek of the Week if you have any questions about any aspects of our jobs and we'll try and find the right musician to answer your questions.